In the last few lectures, we learned how to create a custom attribute directive in Angular and we understood it with several examples. Now it's time to create a custom structural directive. But before we create a custom structural directive, let's first understand how a structural directive actually works behind the scenes. So we know that when we use a structural directive on an HTML element or a component, that structural directive adds or removes that HTML element or the component to or from the web page based on a given TypeScript expression. And when we use a structural directive in Angular, we prefix it with an asterisk. Now, what is the significance of this asterisk? Why do we use an asterisk before a structural directive? And what does Angular do when it finds an asterisk before a directive behind the scenes? That's what we are going to answer in this lecture. So let's go to VS Code. And to understand structural directive, let's go ahead and let's add some HTML in this app component.html file. And in order to save some time, I have already written some HTML. So let's get it from here. And let's use it inside this app component.html. So basically, here we have a button and a div element. And inside this div, we have an h3 element and a paragraph element. Now, to design this HTML, I have also written some CSS. So let's grab that CSS as well. And let's go ahead and let's use this CSS in app component.css file. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you will notice that a button called show notice and a div with an h3 element and a paragraph element has been added here. Now what I want is initially when this web page loads, I don't want to display this div. This div should only be displayed when the user clicks on this show notice button. So what we need to do is we need to bind a click event on this button element. And on this div element, we are going to use ng if. Let's see that. So let's close this app component.css and on this div element, let's use ng if directive. Now this ng if is a structural directive, so we need to prefix it with an asterisk. Now to this, we can assign some TypeScript expression, which will return a Boolean value. Okay, so let's go to app component.ts file and inside this app component class, let's create a property. Let's call it display. It is going to be of type boolean and initially let's assign it with the value false and let's assign this display property to ng if okay so the initial value of this display property is false so false will be assigned to this ng if and in that case this ng if will not display this div in the web page and to prove this let's go to the web page and you will notice that this div will not be displayed in the web page now, when the user clicks on this show notice button, in that case, that div should again appear in the web page. For that, let's bind click event on this button. So on this button, let's bind click event. And when this click event happens, let's say we want to call a method display notice. Okay, let's go ahead and let's implement this method in the component class. So let's go to app component class. And here, let's implement this method. And inside this method, let's simply set the value of this display property to true. Okay, so when the button will be clicked, this display property will be set to true and that will be assigned to this ng if. And when the value of this ng if is true, in that case, this div will be added in the DOM in the web page. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So initially that div is not being displayed in the web page, but now when I click on this show notice button, that div is now appearing in the web page. Okay, so let's refresh the page. And initially that div is not displayed in the web page. Again, when I click on the show notice button, it will be displayed. So this ng if directive is working as expected. Now the question is, what is the use of this asterisk? Why do we need to include this asterisk in front of a structural directive name? So basically, when we use an asterisk before a directive name, this asterisk tells Angular that this directive is a structural directive. So behind the scenes, for that structural directive, Angular creates a template, something like this. 
okay then it wraps the view of that structural directive inside this template so for this ng if structural directive the view is this div element so angular will wrap this view inside this ng template like this and then it will also move this ng if directive from this div element to this ng template so let's copy this okay so this ng if this structural directive will be moved on this ng template and here this asterisk will not be used here this structural directive will be used like any other attribute directive by wrapping it within square brackets so here you see that angular internally does not use this asterisk okay internally angular uses a structural directive just like any other directive but as a developer when we are using this ng if we specify this asterisk before it so that internally angular can create a template and it can wrap the view within that template okay so if you want you can write this html and this ng if directive like this and this will also work in the same way and to prove this let me go ahead and let's comment this div let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that initially that div is not being displayed when i click on the show notice button that div is being displayed so this ng if is still working as expected without the asterisk but currently this ng if is being used on this ng template okay so this is the use of this asterisk before the structural directive name when we use an asterisk before a structural directive name it tells angular that that directive is a structural directive so internally angular will create a template for that directive it will move the structural directive on that template and it will wrap the view for that structural directive within that template now we also learned that with this ng if we can also use the else part so after this display we can use a semicolon and then we can specify else and to this else we can specify a reference variable so basically here we can create a template using this ng template inside this template we can write the view which we want to display when this ng if is false so let's say inside this view we want we simply want to display a paragraph let's say this is an example paragraph okay so when this display returns true in that case this ng if will display this view but if this display property returns false in that case we want to display this paragraph so on this ng template we can use a reference let's call it maybe let's call it my where okay and let's specify this my where for this else part okay let's comment this code for now let's save the changes and let's go to the web page so initially when the value of display property is false it is not displaying the div but this paragraph is being displayed but when i click on this show notice button then this div is being displayed but that paragraph is not being displayed okay so this is how we use else with this ng if now the question is what does angular do behind the scenes for this else part well what it does is it will use this same template like this and then on this first ng template it will also use another directive which is ng if else okay and this ng if else will be assigned with the local reference so this reference now let's again comment this code here and let's see if this html works as expected so if i save the changes if i go to the web page you will notice that initially the paragraph is being displayed and the div is not being displayed now when i click on the show notice button then that div is being displayed but the paragraph is not displayed okay so we can write this html like this as well so the takeaway from this lecture is 
when we use a structural directive with an asterisk before it, internally Angular creates a template. And on that template, it uses that structural directive, just like any other attribute directive. And it wraps the view within that template. The view which we want to display or remove from the DOM. Keeping all these points in mind, in the next lecture, let's create our own custom structural directive. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.